Peace and blessings to all. My name is Lady Crenshaw, and I am here to introduce to you a concept called Soul Dress. Um, Soul Dress is a play on words. Um, it is the side of the movement for the sisters. Um, we are the soldiers, and of course, we wear the dresses in the movement. Um, no uh, at all am I trying to imply inferiority because at, by all means we all know how powerful and wonderful the woman is in, in our culture. But um, Soldiers is just a movement meant to inspire the black woman in all of us to ensure that our consciousness is raised, especially in this beast called America, um, of course with the ultimate goal for all of us to be um, African-centered and getting the hell out of America. Um, that is the ultimate goal. So um, what um, Soldiers is about is just we bring topics to you. Um, we actually will begin having meetings and then every Sunday. Um, and I will begin to try to do at least two and three broadcastings throughout the week. Um, I am involved with many projects, so that is um, very contingent upon time scheduling. But definitely every Sunday there will be a new show broadcasting. So um, without further ado, let's get right into the topic. Um, you will find out more about me, so I really don't want to make this about me, but you will find out more about what I do um, throughout the course of the show, obviously. So let's go right into the topic. Um, what I want to talk about is that being of the conscious thinkers, um, being um, in this movement, and let me be clear that the movement has already begun, okay, there is no sitting around waiting for this movement to start, waiting for it to be televised, waiting for it to be um, broadcast via the internet, whatever, it's already started. So um, being a part of this movement and a part of the conscious thinking um, caliber, we have a group of sisters who think because they are they they have this consciousness in in their forefront that they get a pass for acting really foul either towards other sisters towards our brothers or still bringing that foulness into the community and they think because they have some knowledge they rock in the afro they got some locks in their hair they got an onk on their chest um, they got these dope tattoos or whatever it is that they do and they think that they get a pass for still acting foul and when i say foul um, that means acting like a hoe um, that means um, gossiping that means being a liar being manipulative being whatever it may be um, sisters we need to change that okay um, I will share a personal story of you know if I'm going to um, go go beyond the boundary of, of getting at a brother that I know the sister who the, who may have used to date this brother I'm gonna be a woman about mine and I'm gonna come to the sister before any movement even happens between brother and I because I'm a woman and I'm, I'm gonna be sister enough to this sister just off of the basis of you being a black woman period and me being a black woman period I'm not gonna go gossip I'm not gonna go talk and mess I'm not gonna do anything I'm not gonna send you text messages I'm not gonna do none of that because I'm a woman um, that's that's a grown level. That's still still making sure that my community is fed and still allowing a, a alley for me to still um, give and receive love to you, give and receive love here. Um, sisters, we, we still gossiping, you know what I'm saying? You can't still be in a state of consciousness when after the poetry set, you sitting around talking about all the poets. You can't be in a set of consciousness when after the cipher, you talking shit about everybody who done left the cipher early. Or you can't be you can't be of any type of consciousness and you still are continually feeding negativity. Okay? Um that the healing of the community rests in the palm of the women. Okay, we are we give birth to to everything okay and we have to take some type of responsibility that this um some sort of the negative influence and the negative influx of of us as a people have been rooted from from our wombs because we are gossiping and our our babies are hearing this our babies are feeling this energy you know we're pregnant and we're even even something as simple as being pregnant and thinking ill of another person 
Okay, you feel me? It is is going to make this child come out with some type of negative energy. And that energy is so powerful that this little baby's gonna grow up thinking, oh my god, why do I feel this ill energy and I just came into this world? And this is the fresh energy that you're giving, you know, when you're you're gossiping with a child in you or you're you're um hurting with a child in you and because you're not dealing with whatever it is your issue is within yourself you see what i'm saying it's it's beginning to perpetuate nothing but negativity into the community and enough is enough you know what i'm saying enough is somebody has got to call y'all conscious sisters out and say yo okay it's cool you got your knowledge your locks is beautiful your afro is banging and that ankh that you had made that's dope you know what i'm saying you might have got a piece of ivory from africa motherland yourself and did the handcraft work yourself but if you are speaking and giving ill energy and you're still perpetuating all of this um foulness you know whether it's you sleeping around with everybody or sleeping in just because you sleeping around with the conscious brothers don't mean does not mean that um it's still not sleeping around okay you still need to be valuing your temple just as you would be telling um the sisters on the corner just as you would just because it's a it's a, another caliber of men does not mean that it um, erases the fact that you're still mimicking the same behavior just because you have a dashiki on versus some fishnets does not mean that you're not doing the exact same thing and this level of consciousness is so important because um, knowledge is in anything if you can't apply it an application in, in life lessons is what it is in an example that this community needs. We don't need any more of, of the scholars just talking, talking, talking and preaching. You know, we got enough Cornell West telling us about what our community is, but then got a white woman on his arm. We got enough of them. We got enough of the people that's talking, but really not living this. OK, it's time, sisters, that we start living what it is we're trying to profess and you know and you can't have and i'm not at all um judging anybody i'm just saying you know if you're going to claim to be one certain type of a woman then that's what you need to be don't claim that you conscious and you really a hoe don't claim that you can be righteous and, and you withstanding and you afrocentric and you ready to um do whatever it takes for the movement and you you ready to teach our young women how to be women and all of this stuff when you really out there being a bitch like you can't do that because that that's that's con that's contradictory and all you're doing is is creating confusion in the community now if you want to be a hoe you know what i'm saying don't hey ain't nothing wrong with that that's your business that ain't my cup of tea you soldiers probably ain't your cup of tea either you and no love loss but if you gonna claim to do what you do just to stay in your lane you know what i'm saying that's all i'm saying don't don't come around saying that you the best mama and what you feed your kids at night is ramen noodles that's not what the best mama would do okay don't say you a good mama and you leave your kids by by themselves. Don't say you a good mama and you're not reading to your kids. You're not going to parent teacher conference. You're not doing homework with them. You're not raising them right. I mean, there's so many contradictory things that go on in this um this community of consciousness, and they try to often justify it with oh because I run with so and so and we meditate together and we sit and we read Langston Hughes then we get to have this pass of when we slack in other areas no um I'd rather you put the Langston Hughes down and like comb your baby's hair I'd rather you uh, real talk because at the end of the day Langston is is I mean we, we need to be applying what we should be doing to the community, not just sitting on our history. So I hope that um, I don't offend, but then again, if I do offend, that means you really need to look in the mirror and question yourself because these conscious sisters, it's time for y'all to stop fronting. You know what I'm saying? Like stop saying you all peace with your body and you love your body and you popping pills and stuff and you you doing all this foulness. You got this white girl up your nose for the sake of saying, oh, I, I get inspired by by doing all of this extracurricular, non-natural highs. That's that's not that's not the business whatsoever. So um. Conscious sisters, 